I want to explain the four quantum numbers for you. There are four of them, and they're really only there so that we can explain the way that electrons are found in atoms all the time. The first one is n. It's the principal quantum number, and it really just represents the energy level of the atom. You have n equals 1 for the first shell, n equals 2 for the second shell, and so on and so on. L, which is the azimuthal quantum number, or sometimes the angular momentum quantum number, goes from 0 all the way up to whatever n is, minus 1. So if n is 1, L can be 0 to 0. For electrons in n equals 2, L can be 0 or 1. For an electron in the third shell, L can be 0 or 1 or 2. And it goes on like that. Then we have something called the magnetic quantum number, which ranges from negative L to positive L. Now the reason we give it that rule is to explain the fact that each s orbital only gets one dash in the electron filling diagrams like this one. Each p orbital gets three, each d gets five, and so on. It's the only reason we have that. There's also something called the spin quantum number which is either plus a half or minus a half and that really only represents the fact that you can put two electrons in each of these orbitals in the electron filling diagram. For quantum numbers you're gonna have to memorize what they are maybe what they're called and most importantly what the numbers can be. N has to be one, two, three, four, five, something like that. L goes up to whatever n is from 0 to n minus 1. The magnetic quantum number, whatever L is, it's minus that to plus that, including 0. And the spin quantum number is either one of these two, because you can only jam two electrons in each orbital. Best of luck.